All right guys, I'm gonna show you a new post-production technique that I've been adding to my photos to get this kind of look. So this is a Instagram guy called Ryan Dyer and his work's really amazing. I'll leave a link in the description so you can check out his work. And when you come through and look through his shots, aside from being amazing location and composition and basically the whole camera technique of capture, when you look through his shots, for me, it's really about the application and removal of contrast in his image that really make the image go to that next level. So if you look at another shot here, you can sort of see how it's got that nice sort of framing, contrast in the foreground, moving into the background where the contrast is removed, but you still got all that kind of detail. So when you basically think about doing your own sort of shots, when you're actually out on location, you got more contrast in the foreground but you actually lose contrast in the background just visually through anything like atmospherical elements, lighting changes, and you actually your distance from that subject. So the way that I've been working out how to basically decontrast my images to give it more basically detail and dimension is this technique. So this is a shot that I did for my focus stacking tutorial and I'll leave a link to that here if you're interested. And the whole process is you come down grab yourself a brightness contrast adjustment layer and remove all the contrast from the image. Now, once you remove all the contrast from the image, you basically only want to apply it to a certain area. And with the whole decontrasting look, you basically want to change it from shadows all the way up to probably around your mid-tone sort of luminosity in your shot. So to do that, you just basically jump into your luminosity mask and pick a darks mask that you feel best represents your scene, where you basically want this to be applied to. So darks three, darks four. I'm gonna go with a darks three. Apply that to your mask and there you go. You sort of just got that kind of sort of natural sort of decontrasting to the shot. And when we look at the sort of image itself, when you add and remove it, it's just giving that sort of extra sort of sharpness to the image, but you're actually not sharpening it. You're just kind of removing contrast from the image. Even though sharpening is, adding contrast to edges of your shot. But just the removal of it almost does the kind of exact same thing, especially when you apply it using a luminosity mask. And as you can look at the mask itself, you can see it's added all the protection here to the really bright highlights and it's only targeted the shadows. And with a waterfall scene, it really does come down to having a lot of shadow and mid-tone sort of elements in there. So this sort of technique works really well to give you that sort of nice sort of sharpness decontrasting painterly sort of look to your image. But let's say you've got a seascape shot. So this is a seascape shot I got, and it's, I, I like it, but in the background, it's probably got maybe a little bit too much contrast, and especially through here. So the removal of contrast will actually maybe give it a bit more dimension. So again, you go through the process, brightness, contrast, adjustment layer, remove all the contrast from the scene, come up to your mask and find one that best represents the scene. So darks three, probably did too much. Darks two looks good, so obviously white will reveal, black will conceal, so it's gonna basically add probably a mid-tone contrast through here and probably way more in that area there. Apply it to your mask and before and after. So you can sort of see how the background sort of loses that sort of contrast. And for me personally, again, it comes down to personal taste. I really like it. But the foreground has sort of basically been decontrasted as well. And naturally, if we were standing here because it's much closer to us, it would have way more contrast than the background. So let's add that back in. So like with any sort of mask, white will reveal, black will conceal. So we're gonna hit B on our keyboard, painting it black, and I've got it set to opacity of 80%. I'm just gonna come through. Again, you can do this much more selective than what I am, but just for the process of speeding this up, just come through and just paint it out where you don't want it to be applied. Before and after. So you can sort of see, even when you look on the right-hand side here, it just gives that sort of extra sort of look and feel to the image. And again, you can just come in and paint it accordingly into your shot. And it just adds that sort of next sort of level adjustment to your image. And this is what editing is all about, just making these small changes just to improve your image. Sometimes like when I've used this, it's really improved the image a lot, as you saw with the sort of waterfall scene here, it really added it like a lot where with a seascape sort of scene on sunrise, it's just more of a subtle sort of look. So if you're interested in seeing more of my post-production workflow, I'll leave a link to that video here. And as always guys, thanks for watching. 
you got a comment about how you've liked this sort of technique, pop it down below and I'm more than happy to reply to anything that you want to write and I'll see you in the next video.